In this video, I want to talk about Saitama's workout routine from the manga and anime One Punch Man. Would it work in real life? Is it scientific? Let's find out. Hey everyone, thanks so much for swinging by. My name is Devin, AKA Action Ricker. And if you're new here, I make all sorts of content on fitness and anime. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video coming out on how you can stay fit and healthy, just like your favorite anime characters. So without further ado, let's jump into Saitama's workout routine. I think it took everyone by surprise when they first heard about how basic this workout routine was. This is literally what they do in a lot of gym classes. And I specifically had a connection with it because it's almost exactly what I used to do when I was 11 years old. It's actually how I got into fitness myself. Every single day, I would do 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups. I didn't do the squats, but I did run up and down the hill that we have in the backyard multiple times. It was essentially my workout routine. And in this video, I want to talk about how scientific it is and did it work for me as a kid? Let's find out. So to really answer this question, we have to determine where you're coming from. So what is Saitama's workout routine? It's very basic. It's 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and a 10 kilometer or about a 6.2 mile run every single day. So it's very basic. You don't need equipment to do this workout. But does it actually do anything? Does it actually work? Well, to answer that question, we have to determine two things. Who is the person doing the workout and what are their goals? So to answer the first question of who's doing the workout, it really depends. So if you're a 40 year old bodybuilder who just has a lot of muscle mass and your goal is to tack on a lot more muscle, no, this is absolutely gonna ruin your gains. It's gonna be horrible for you. It's not a great workout in that sense. But if you're like how I was when I did a similar routine, you're skinny, you've never really worked out before and you wanna start training and you don't really know where to start, this might be a good start for you. And in that scenario too, it's gonna to be a really good way to start packing on a little bit of muscle. So let's actually break down the workout itself. 100 push-ups is not an easy task. Anyone that can do 100 in a row is pretty fit. So how can you achieve 100 push-ups in a row? Well, for me, when I was 11 years old, it took me almost a year to accomplish that. And so what I did was I started with what I could do. I did 10 sets of 10 push-ups, then moved on to five sets of 20, then four sets of 25, and kept building up and building up and building up, and I did it every single night. Now, is that super scientific? Eh, we could debate if there are better ways to do that or not, but for me at the time, that actually worked really well. And I did the same thing with the sit-ups. I did the same thing with the running. So for me, I had a hill in my backyard. I would jog down, I would sprint up, jog down, sprint up. I remember when I first started, I could barely do three to five sprints. And then by the end of that training, I got up to about 20 sprints up the hill. So needless to say, at that point in my life, I went from being skinny and not very strong at all to being able to do 100 push-ups in a row, 100 sit-ups, and that made me a lot stronger and it prepared me for the next phase, which for me was powerlifting. Now for you, that may look a little bit different. If you're just wanting to pack on a little bit of muscle and get into better shape, this routine could work pretty well. There are a couple things to note about the routine. In particular, all of these things should be built up too. You shouldn't necessarily do it right off the bat every single day. Like for instance, with the push-ups, most people can't do 100 push-ups in a row. I couldn't do 100 in a row. So you have to start with where you're at. So if you can do 10, like I was, do 10 sets of 10 or just do like 50 push-ups a day and then build up to where you can do 55 then 60. Build it up over time. It's gonna take time for you. And especially with the running, if you're type two muscle fiber heavy, then you're gonna have a really hard time trying to run 6.2 miles. What I would recommend, instead of running it every single day, just start with where you're at on that as well. So start with maybe a mile, then the next day take off, let your body relax. Next day run a half mile, do like kind of a lighter day. Next day take off, next day run a mile again. So you wanna have undulating volume over time. And then eventually you wanna periodize it so you do just a little bit more and a little bit more each week. And of course, side note, PSA, as always, make sure to throw in a deload week every four to six weeks. Your body is gonna need it and it's gonna thank you. So to really answer the question of, is Saitama's workout routine scientific? Not really, but because he jumps into it, does it every single day, there's no really build up to it as far as I'm aware. And so if you're interested in doing this, like I said, make sure you're periodizing your training. So can it work for you? Depending on where you're at and what your goals are, yes, it absolutely can. If you've never worked out in your life before and you're thinking about getting into it, this might be a good thing to build up to. So as with every training routine, make sure you're tracking everything. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. Make sure to track. So you have your ultimate goal of looking like or getting to Saitama's routine. Start with where you're at. Track what you can and can't do. Then from there, just continually try to build it up, take it up one notch at a time, 
until eventually you get up there to that routine. Make sure to watch some of my other videos on how to properly periodize a training program, and that's really gonna help you. You can implement those same strategies into this training routine as well. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more anime fitness content. Side note, I try to be in the comments on every single video for the first 30 minutes to an hour. So if you'd like to interact with me, make sure to hit that notification bell so you can get to the video early as well. Thank you so much for watching. What is your favorite One Punch Man character? Let me know in the comments down below and I will catch you in the next video.